So we've arrived at Hamilton Gardens here. Uh, actually, lots and lots of cars here, so I'm expecting good things by the amount of people that are here. First things first, we've been driving from Auckland. We haven't had anything to eat or any breakfast yet, so we're going to go into the Hamilton Gardens Cafe, get a coffee, get something to eat. A stunning view out here. Okay, so I settled for the mega chicken sandwich, which looks pretty good. Very full, lots of filling in it. Rebecca's got herself some poached eggs and mushrooms, because that's what she likes. And we're going to sit here and enjoy this fantastic view and eat our breakfast. Okay, let's go and explore. The Italian Renaissance Garden. These gardens are just simply stunning. Uh, no wonder it's like the main attraction in Hamilton. Let's go down and take a bit better look. and take a look at what this door reveals. Look who I found. Okay. Heading into the Indian garden now. It's been so much work put into a lot of these gardens. You can absolutely see why there's so many people here. Signs say that these gardens were designed based on a design from the 16th and 17th century that the Maharajas used to have in their palaces. Okay, let's head into the modernist garden designed on an American West Coast tradition, apparently. So they're having a swim. Let's see what is beyond. Maryland. Once again the river. Let's head into the Chinese Scholar's Garden. Keep exploring. Reminds me of some gardens that we've seen in China. Whenever you went to a park there, the parks were huge. Always lots of people there enjoying the outdoors, but there'd always be like a specialty garden part in there that looked like this, along with wide open spaces. Just just saying to Beck, the only thing missing is like a giant panda in this bamboo forest.
Such a stunning destination. River in the background, gardens that are unbelievable. These gardens are equal of any gardens I've ever seen anywhere in the world. Okay, so there's another section over here. Okay, so it's another section that we've stumbled upon. I'm not quite sure, there's no sign on there to say what it is, so it might just be a general garden. This should be interesting. Let's go to the ancient Egyptian garden. It's actually nice and cool in here too because it's been warm today. It's actually like a maze. There's just so many different garden areas in here. Thinking when we stopped, oh, it's just a garden. It might only take 30 minutes or so. And um, I've actually been here an hour and a half and counting now. Wow. This is the herb garden. I think it keeps going out the other side here. Because one just seems to lead into another. You find some of the gardens are dead ends. They just stand alone. And others are a part of a trail. Like this one here, which says it's going to the ancient Egyptian garden. Which is what we were certainly wanting to see. So, let's head in here. Not that this is the Egyptian garden, so it must go through here once again. This is the kitchen garden. So vegetables, herbs. Some of the stuff grown in here is used in the kitchen. Excellent. Kitchen okay, we've finally found the Egyptian garden. After cruising through the herb garden, the kitchen garden, and now the Egyptian garden. Let's check out the medieval garden. Looks like they're preparing for a party, Governor. That was terrible. That was not terrible. It was terrible. My British accent was perfect, Governor. It was terrible. <laughs> a cup of tea? <laughs> I'd like a scotch. Your garden. Oh, this is back to the governor's cup of tea. Okay, so we're hoping this leads to the Tudor garden, possibly. It's what we've been looking for. It's one of the last themed gardens that we haven't seen. What we have realised is that we have a map and we have not used it at all. Probably bad planning. Exit via the tropical garden. <laughs> Okay, let's go and have a look at the traditional Maori horticultural garden. Here we go. We're thinking this is possibly the last garden that we haven't seen. Probably the last garden that we're going to use. Yes, because we now have been here a long, long time. At least. Oh yeah, very nice.
Okay, so now the challenge is actually to try and find our way out of here after two hours of walking around. So apparently this says exit, so. So this section over here where you can see the lake, this is the outer gardens and that boardwalk in the distance there. So there's a whole set of different gardens and buildings over there that you can go and look at. Uh, like I just mentioned today, we're not quite gonna get there. We've run out of time, but maybe next time we get here, we'll definitely come and check them out. For those that don't have a car or can't drive out here, it seems there's a bus stop out here. So the buses from Hamilton must come and pick up out this way, which makes it great for easy access. See, so it says bus stop. Okay, let's go and find our car.